Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here. It looks like Stable Diffusion just dropped version 1.5, which is a nice upgrade from 1.4, getting faces a lot better and working on the hands as well. Uh, a nice upgrade, and it looks like quite a few things have been resolved. Now this is only available right now in their Dream Studio website, but I'm hoping sooner or later, sooner than later, it will come out so we can actually use it in Colab Notebooks and on local installations. Let's take a quick look at the website so you can kind of understand how to use it if you haven't before. This will be super brief. Now, this is more of an update to let you know that 1.5 just came out. Uh, so if you haven't used this system yet, it is much different than Midjourney in the type of imagery it creates. The Midjourney, nothing wrong with it. It creates fantastic art, but it does tend to have kind of a graininess and a, a Midjourney look, we'll call it. Um, even though you can guide a lot of that, Stable Diffusion tends to have a much different look to it. In fact, Midjourney uses part of Stable Diffusion, from what I understand, uh, especially in the test area. So if you're using that test and you really like it, then Stable Diffusion might be something you should check out. So here's some example images I made in the system, and I'm really excited about it. A lot of these were made in 1.4, and uh, say the bottom ones were made in 1.5. Uh, so it's coming along very well, and I'm getting a lot of great imagery for it. Uh, no peeking at this, by the way, if you're in that weekly AI art challenge, because I'm working on my cyborg entry, um, if you couldn't tell. So that's one I, I really love, and I'm quite happy with that theme uh, versus the uh, child's book cover, which I didn't even bother to enter, wasn't motivated. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the website. So if you haven't used Dream Studio before, it's very much like Midjourney, except it has controls available for it, and it's web-based, so you don't have to use Discord. So if you're not a fan of Discord, and now you can use this. And at the bottom, you simply enter the prompt that you'd like, and then again, you've got controls your height, your width. The CFG scale is very similar to stylize or to your chaos parameter. Uh, so the higher the number, the more it's going to actually look at what you're typing and the lower, the more freedom it's going to take. I think seven is a really nice number. I know some people think that's a bit low, but I'm very happy with that. Uh, steps adjusts how many diffusion steps we're going to be using. Uh, I find 50 to be just fine. Uh, some people crank this up, but it really doesn't affect the image that much, but it does cost you a lot more credit. So be aware that you are paying per image and your steps is one of those big things and the number of images you'd like to get with each prompt, the sampler, and this is very interesting. So LMS is the default, and all these kind of give a similar result for the most part, except for a few of them, but one of the ones I really like is Euler here. Uh, this is one that I use quite often, and I find it to be a lot faster uh, than LMS, and the result's just as good. It also works with fewer steps, in my mind, to get just as good of an image. Down here, you can choose what kind of engine you would like to use. If you want the 1.4, or you'd like to try 1.5 RTX. Uh, again, the difference between these two I haven't noticed yet, uh, but you can see they're going somewhere with this. And at the bottom you have the seed. And if you'd like it to be random or not, um, it's gonna be random by default unless you check this. And then you can go ahead and generate images. By the way, this is browser based. So if you remove your browser history from this website, you will lose all of your past images. Also download all of your images immediately when they are done because you will actually cost you again to pull them up in history and re-render them. So don't get caught in that trap. I'm sure they'll change that at some point, but that's kind of a ludicrous way to spend money. So get in, download everything, even if you don't know if you're gonna want it or not, and sort it out later. Anyway, that's the 1.5 beta of Stable Diffusion that's just now been released, and I'm really excited for it. It's been in beta, uh, and we had a lot of fun with it, and I have a lot more playing around with it to do, but I'm very excited for it. And I love how fast the team is moving as well. Uh, they've got about 80 people on staff now, so a much bigger team than Midjourney. And remember, this is free if you download it and you're using a Colab notebook, uh, but I don't mind paying for it. Again, that money goes to help fund it, uh, which again, drives it forward. So if you like something there, put some money at it. I mean, even if it's a little bit, it really helps. Speaking of which, thanks to everybody who supports this channel. You guys are awesome. Everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.